so in this video i am going to explain the solution of problem c which were recently asked in code for c route 891 rated for division 3 so first let us understand the problem statement so the problem name is assembly via minimus so the but problem is said that we will be having an initial array a which is initially equal to 2342351 and we can construct an another array b such that it contains all the all the minimum all the elements which are minimum of every pair i and j for example in this case my initial array is like this 2351 so i will take each every pair of i and j from the range 1 to n and i will take minimum of their pair and put it in my array b for example in this case i will take minimum of 2 and 3 which is 2 and i will put it in my array b then again 2 and 5 then 2 and 1 then 3 and 5 3 and 1 and at last 5 and 1 now all these arrays and now all these elements are appended in my array b now what can I, now what problem is said that my, my my array b got shuffled and my user got my user forgot the array a so now the problem what has said that we we, the, we will have to uh, reconstruct the array b from the shuffled array b i hope the problem this problem is clear to you now let us reach the problem solution so here you can see I have, I have got my initial array b like this so if i say you that if i sort my array b then i will get a valid array b from which i can construct an array a because you can see if i sort my array b initially like this which is it is sorted from of this now this is this is a val valid array b from which i can reconstruct an another array b and so i hope this intuition is clear to you because this is only a greedy approach because you can see my I, I will initially take all the minimum then I will increase my number then also increase my number so I, I hope this is clear too that initial I will sort my array B then the sorted array B will be a valid array B such that I can create a array A from that sorted array B so now let us begin how to construct that array A from the sorted array B so here in this case my IE5 so there are 5 vacant seats so if there are five vacant seats, I have to I have to fill this place. So let it be x. So first we can see that minimum of x and this minimum of x and this number, minimum of x and this number, minimum of x and this number, and minimum of x and this number is 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 is, is the initially starting elements of my array b because my array array b is sorted now. This is a valid array b which was initially present. And this is my original array, original array B, which was reshuffled in the form of this. So according to the question, my first four digits will be that number, which will have the minimum of my first number and the rest of the numbers. For, for, for in this case, my minimum of X and all the remaining digits is minus 2. So from this conclusion, I can simply say that my first number can be equal to minus 2. Because my minus 2 is the smallest element in the array. So this is the smallest element in the array. Now by, by taking a pair and finding the minimum from this pair, I will all, always get minus 2 because this is the smallest element in the array. So here I will only take the n minus 1 sub array. So if I go forward, my, my, my next element which I have to fill is this number. So for this number, how many remaining elements are left which is equal to n minus 2 which means I, this subarray which is equal to n minus 2 so what is the minimum element in this subarray the minimum element in this subarray is 0 which means I can clearly say that by taking the minimum element in my next subarray of size by, by decreasing the size by, by minus 1 is I, I can take the minimum element from that subarray and write it simply here because you can see that if I take minimum minimum of this and this minimum of this and this and minimum of this and this which is always equal to zero because that is the next subarray because this is a this is a subarray which is which contains the minimum of all these pairs so minimum of all this pair minimum of all this minimum of this subarray is equal to zero so i can clearly say my second number is equal to uh, zero so ne now next now next let me my element this so how many elements will produce this number so this number will have two pair this pair and this pair so i will take the next subarray of size n minus 3 
now i will find minimum of this subarray the minimum of this subarray is zero again so i can clearly say my this element is also equal to zero because if i take minimum of this and this minimum of minimum of this and this and minimum of this and this which is always coming equal to zero so i can clearly say this number is equal to zero so my last number which remain this and whose size is will be n minus 4 so my remaining element will be this number so what is the what so so the minimum of this pair and this pair is equal to 3 so i can assume my this number will be always equal to 3 because we have a minimum of this pair and this pair is 3 and my next number can be greater or lesser i don't i doesn't care for that so i will clearly say my this number is always equal to my remaining element and i will clearly say my fill so now you will say how, what to fill at their position so you can clearly see that i will all that, that that this pair can is never participating in my minimum sum so this array so this element is largest of all these elements so i can clearly fill here any any infinite value or larger value or i can also put one greater value from before so i will simply put it for which will always always which will also work or i will simply put an very big value which will always work so now let us understand from the another solution so for this case you can see i have my remaining i have my size is equal to 4 1 2 3 4 so my my initially first element is equal to x so my minimum of this pair this pair and this pair which is total three three pairs so my first three pairs are having minimum is equal to three so i can fill here as three so my next pair come like this so my minimum of next pair will be so my next are two pairs left so my next two pairs having the minimum sum as five so i mean i can clearly fill here as five so my last pair from this i can say my my minimum is my minimum pair which is equal to x and this number which is only left 7 so i can clearly fill it 7 so my last number is left so i can i can fill in any any arbitrary last number so this is this is the whole problem induction so if i show you the code you will more understand this better so here is the problem solution so for, first i am taking the input then i am sorting my initial array now what i am taking i am ma maintaining a size because my first sub array will have a, having a size of n minus 1 then it will going to decrease but my first, first sub array will having size n minus 1 then n minus 2 then n minus 3 then n minus 4 which is always decreasing by 1 because first i have, have 4 pairs then i will take initially 3 pairs then 2 pairs and then last 1 pair only so i will mark it my first size as n minus 1 now, now what can i do i will take my as a minimum value as any large value then i will find my minimum of first sub array of size n minus 1 then what will be the then then the minimum value which i will got i will simply print that value and i will decrease my k because next time my sub array will become of size n minus 2 or and then n minus 3 and n minus 4 then then again i will do i will take the minimum of next decrease sub array and i will print for the next number so from from this for loop i will print initially k minus 1 elements which i will got so for the last number i can simply print any large value which is modulus 7 modulus minus 7 and my modulus value is 1 in 9 plus 7 so if i run you the if i, if I run this the code so the problem so you here you can see the problem is indeed giving the correct answer so the, i think this is a pretty much greedy solution so if i will pro provide you the problem solution in the link and i will try to give the solution of problem enf in today's video in tomorrow's video so till then stay tuned for the next one and don't forget to subscribe my channel till then stay tuned for the next one thank you